given first i'm giving my direct translation of it then after this verse i'm gonna tell you guys what do i think he is talking about this this is just on me okay this is just on me this is just my take on it this is what i understood when he, sp uh, he spit it out <laughs> What's poppin' cheese? So for today, so for today, we're going to have a little bit of twist on the usual things that we do. So right now, I'm gonna do my best to speak and talk in English only. I hope this will turn out okay. So just a disclaimer, I'm really so sorry if I'm not that good in speaking in English, but I'll try to do my best. So for today, um, we're not going to have any reaction videos. I'm not going to give my reaction video to Izimil's Panalo Trap Cariñosa on Wish Bus because I've done that, but not on the Wish Bus. It is the audio track that Izimil released uh, way back, I don't know, way back October when I did it. I don't know, I can't remember. But if you haven't watched it, here's the card. You can just check it out if you want to. And as you can see on the title, I will um translate the ilocano verse because here in panalo trap carinosa there is like an ilocano verse just a, maybe a four liner verse not really a verse but a stanza if you may so i'm gonna i'm going to translate that because as i watch um reaction videos there are some that got it but there are some that don't and some just doesn't care <laughs> so as an ilocano i'm from baguio represent yo so as an ilocano born so as an ilocano i think i have to i have to for those people who doesn't like understand what ilocano is it is one of the dialects in the philippines it's widely spread out. Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. I know some people and a lot of people, I mean, that speaks and who are Ilocanos. And trivia. Let's go to trivia. What I found out about Izimil. So first, trivia. He was, he was like born in 200 Olong I know the hand sign that he made, but he was born there. Then he stayed in Pangasinan, Urdaneta. That is my hometown of my Lolo. So I have lots of relatives in Urdaneta, specifically Kabaruan. So to all you, Albor. Albor lang malakas. <laughs> to all the Pogis and Dudettes in Albor. Shoutouts to y'all. And another trivia. So we have something in common. Okay. <laughs> so I stayed in Ordaneta for some time. He stayed in Orden or yes, in Ordaneta for some time. That's why he knows how to speak in Ilocano. Next trivia. So he was born in, in Olongapo. He stayed in Ordaneta. Then he went back to Olongapo as or in high school, I think. One more trivia. Something in common. So we both play skateboards. Well, before, during my high school days, I played BMX bike. College days, I think, or late college. That's when I started, like, playing skateboard. So we both love to skate. That's another thing. So we have two things in common now. We stayed in Ordaneta and we play skateboard. Third, trivia. He plays metal. And he's really, really damn good in playing the guitar. I also play the guitar adequately. I'm not really saying that I'm good at it. I just know how to play it. And my line or the the genre that I really love when it comes to rock music, um, metal as well. But I think Izimil loves death or core, death core metal. For me, I like progressive, progressive metal. That's where, or that's what I like. Best band for me that plays progressive is, of course, Dream Theater. Dream Theater, I've listened to them like 
um, college days when I was in a band. Yes, I was in a band before I played the guitar as well. So we have now three things in common with Izzy Mill. Now, fourth trivia. He, he is really, really good in singing. So if you visit his channel, his YouTube channel, you will um, see there or you'll be able to hear there the full album that he released, I think, Sem no November or December. I don't know. Um, I lost track of the time, but or I lost track on when it was released. But um, I think the full album, it doesn't have any rap. It's just R&B soul, I think. I think of course and he also produce his own music and of course I also have a music I also produced them but not everything I produced two of my songs <laughs> so we have now four things in common but this fifth trivia that I'm gonna give you maybe some of you doesn't know it yet but of course maybe most of you knows it already he is really, really good in dancing. So if you're saying that Balasubas is Mr. All Around, maybe, yes, when it comes to rap. But Mr. All Around in everything? Like produced, um, sing, really, really good. Rap, really, really good. Write very nice lyrics. Dance really well plays hardcore music or metal maybe i think he is the mr all around when it comes to music when it comes to rap maybe the philippine version is balasubas in rap music but yeah easy mill dance sing produce rap whichever i know and so where do we start um let's start from the chorus going to that verse Damn, I'm still having those chills whenever I hear this chorus. Those facial expressions, you know, these kind of facial expressions, he actually practices it. So what I read was, um, whenever he listens to music, it's like in front of a mirror or something that he can see his face. So whenever he makes those faces, he can see. So he actually has an idea on what does it look like performing. So here's the verse. Okay. So he's just saying that if you think that Izimit can only spit um, two languages or just one language, you're wrong. You're totally wrong. <laughs> uh. So I like um, on how he like emphasize those vowels utang na lumutang na pusang oh sorry i told you guys that i will not give a reaction but i i can't help it sorry here it goes lucano so ura in baga kanyayo ti so that word okinayo is like um a curse word so i think it's not appropriate on wish but maybe if this is like another platform or another channel or another station that um he performs this or he performs this song i think it will be allowed so okinayo means uh, Son of a witch. <laughs> I don't want to say the word. This video might get demonetized. So it rhymes with witch. With the letter B as a witch. <laughs> okay. Continue. So 
So I'm just um how how will I say this? I'm just be here waiting for y'all strangers. <laughs> I uh, there's really not a direct translation word of dayo. That's the root word of it. Dayo means like stranger to some places. So um I'm just given first I'm giving my direct translation of it then after this verse i'm gonna tell you guys what do i think he is talking about <laughs> So, uray sang sang itam naktiwagas mo nga payo if I said that right. <laughs> so, um, so you can cry sang sang itan. So maybe you can cry to me. So you can cry to me with those overwhelming advices or advice. I don't know sang sang itan naktiwagas nga payo. Maybe. So that is actually the direct translation of it. Ngata kay kayatum nga patayin ka kinday to'y bayo. So, there's a lot of going on there. <laughs> um, direct translation of it is like, um, it's like you're wishing or you're asking someone, you're asking him to kill you. It's like, you would like, you would like me to kill you and this beat, bayo. So bio is um I think there are two meanings of this bio. The first meaning of bio is the one that you used to like I know to pound something to pound rice I I know. And the second is bio is beat. So I'm taking the beat as a meaning. So that's how the four Ilocano lines on Panalo Trap Karin Yosa. So right now I'm I'm gonna give you guys what I think he meant on those lines. So I wrote it down here. Um it's this this is just on me, okay? This is just on me, this is just my take on it. This is what I understood when he, uh, he spit it out. M maybe if there are other meaning of this from Easy Mail, I'm so sorry. But um, this translation that I'm giving you, this is just what I understood from the song. Let's repeat that. <laughs> So what I think he's saying here is I'm telling you son of witches <laughs> with a B I'm telling you son of witches So I'm just right here waiting for whoever want wanna go or whoever um, want to take me or whoever wants to try what I got or try my skills. I'm just right here, homie. I'm just right here, G. Come on. So even if you're crying shit with those advices that you're giving me, that's just my take. I know what he really meant about it. <laughs> So even if you're crying your shit out with those advices you're given, so I'ma kill you like I'm killing this beat, or um, I'ma kill you with this beat, or I'ma kill you with this beat, or I'ma kill you and this beat. I know whichever, um, whichever is more appropriate for you. Maybe that's it. For me is I'ma kill you like I'm killing this beat. So rip R I P kill dead R I P rip beat you know <laughs> wordplay. <laughs> 
So technically what I wrote here is I'm telling y'all son of a witches I'm just right here waiting for whoever wanna go to try my skills Even if you're crying your shit out with those advice you're given I'ma kill you and this beat I'ma kill this beat and I'ma kill you as well Boom Or that is my take on that verse Ilocano verse from Easy Mill. Those are just my takes on Easy Mill trivias and the translation of his Ilocano verse. I hope you liked it. And if you like this video, please, please, please leave a like, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Turn on post notifications to be updated on all the videos that we're releasing here on my channel. And I'm out. Peace.